What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Austin awesome Show. Today we're looking at the Hasbro Marvel Legends Spider-Man 2 pack from the PlayStation Marvel Spider-Man game. So this is pretty cool. This was, I believe, a GameStop exclusive where we got Mr. Negative, which is kind of like the main villain of the Spider-Man game, with one of his inner demon henchmen. So both of these look pretty cool. You know, it's awesome to get Mr. Negative with all black and white, so it's like the photo negative reverse of a character's looks cool with an awesome sword, and then one of his henchmen, and I think we've taken some other, you know, just random suited body figures and put them additional heads on them so you can kind of build out a little army of inner demons so both look pretty cool here in our plastic free packaging so just a picture of the figures there around on the side we have mr negative and inner demon and then more of like a picture from the game and stuff there with the two figures on the back and all the accessories that they come with so both of these look really cool so i'm excited to check it out so let me get it open out of the box and we'll take a look at it together so let's start off with Mr. Negative, whose real name is Martin Lee. And at the age of seven, his parents took him to Oscorp for a medical consultation for his unknown condition. And there, Norman Osborn injected him with an experiment serum known as Devil's Breath, which triggered a reaction that gave Lee dark powers and caused an explosion that killed his parents. So then he spent his childhood in foster care until he turned 18, when he went back to China and became super rich, until he returned to New York and founded the Feast Foundation. And in New York, City as Mr. Negative. He runs a criminal organization of the Inner Demons. Once Fisk was arrested and he took advantage of the power vacuum with plans to get revenge against Mayor Norman Osborn. Of course, this is all from the Spider-Man PlayStation video game. And overall, he looks cool here. So with his powers, he became a photo negative version of himself with powers to generate and control electrical negative energy that allows him to project blast from his hands, has superhuman strength, durability, and reflexes. He's a master swordsman and has mind control corruption by touch and overall he looks pretty cool here again it's from the video game so he just looks like a guy in a suit so he's got this all white suit so hopefully you can see it with the background but all white suit which looks cool but then has the negative effect so everything that was dark is now light and everything light is now dark so suit was probably a black suit with a white shirt so now it's a black shirt with a white suit over the top i like like the black handkerchief his hands and skin are all this dark blackish blue color now so it stands out so it's just not all black it's got a blue tint to it which is cool his hair is all white eyebrows all white white you can see his eyes are inverse so the pupils are now all white and the whites are now all black so that looks cool and then you just white suit all the way down to the white shoes so like I said everything is technically inverse of what it should be now and overall I think he looks cool of course this is one more realistic thing so this necessarily isn't comic book but he has been in comics so you could always just use it as that if you want but it's pretty cool to see him like this but it's a suit body so it's probably gonna be the same as all the past suit body figures we've had but the head can twist all the way around and it can look down that far and up that far a little bit stiffness in the neck but once you get it kind and loosen moves back and forth so overall not bad just like I said that stiffness shoulders can come up to about 45 there because of the bump on the top here it's only out about that far and of course can rotate all the way around we get a bicep twist the double elbow joint that can bend pretty much all the way up on itself there so they're really good the wrist can twist around and flex back and forth but like a lot of figures with these with the long collar piece the hands kind of go back in so it's hard to get the movements he's got an ab crunch in the middle so you can kind of see the cutouts in there so crunch forward and crunch Crunch back can be hard because of the suit jacket, but nice crunch back and forth. Twist all the way around at the waist. Hips can come up to 90 and out to the side there. Thigh twist all the way around the double knee joint that can bend up that far to the back. And then the foot can flex back and forth, which I hate these sort of feet on the suit bodies because they don't allow much movement because the end of the pants. So you just get moving back and forth there and can twist side to side, which makes them hard to stand up quite a bit. But overall, I do like the design of having the inverse collars and stuff make it stand out a lot. And the only accessory he comes with is the Gion sword. So just this sword design. So it looks pretty cool. So again, inverse. So it's all white this time. So it's nice handle design, all sorts of ornamentation and stuff. And then the blade of the sword there. And then it comes with this effect of all this black smoke and stuff. Because that's a part of the game is there's always like black smoke coming around everything. So it looks pretty cool there with the white sword inside the black smoke. So let's put this in his hand. So there is Mr. Negative with that sword that looks pretty cool and I tried to get our Spider-Man figure but we can't find it anywhere so I don't know what happened to our game version of the Spider-Man because I was going to put him with him to have them facing off but like I said I couldn't find it anywhere so I don't know what happened to that but he looks pretty cool there and of course he serves over the inner demon so he comes with an inner demon so we have his inner demon henchmen which wear Chinese demon mask and use electrified versions of sword whips knuckles and guns stolen from fisk weapon stashes so he looks pretty cool it's just pretty much a suited body with the additional head so we have the bald head this time with the Chinese mask so again that's part of the thing is that all the inner demons wear these masks 
And so he's got a mask with like the teeth sticking out, the big prominent teeth, and then the all black and white mask. So of course fits with the black and white of Mr. Negative. And so it's just a bunch of henchmen in suits. So you can pretty much take any suited body you want and then pop the head onto it. This body itself almost looks like the suited body from Logan of Wolverine. So that's what it looks like just with the black suit and the black pants, has the white undershirt. That's not got a tie, but it's unbuttoned a little bit. And then of course the black boots on his feet there with the pants. So overall looks cool. But like I said, you can take pretty much any dark colored suited Marvel Legends figure and pop one of the heads on it and it can become an inner demon, which we have already done that I'll show you here in a second. But overall it looks cool, but it's just another guy in a suited body. So it'll be pretty similar. So his head can move all the way around and he can look down that far and up that far. So different designs like a dumbbell joint up in there. So you don't really get as much movement in the neck. The shoulders come up again, probably about the 45, maybe a little bit higher there, not all the way up to 90 though, and rotate all the way around. We had a bicep twist, the double elbow that bends up that far, so not as much wrist twist around and again flex back and forth. We have the ab crunch cut down there, so crunch forward and again back can't really go because of the suit. Twist all the way around at the waist. Hips can come up to 90 and out to the side. Thigh twist all the way around, double knee joint that bends up that far to the back. Then we get the foot that flexes back and forth and can twist side to side and again hard to get it to stand up and stuff because of the range of the feet and everything so you just have to mess with it to try and get him to stand up but like i said just the guy in a suited body so you can take any marvel legend we've had and pop the heads on but accessory wise comes with a lot of different accessories so first we get some fist hands so if you don't want to have the grip hands for weapons he can just have some fists but with like the fist or with the grip hands there itself we can put on some of mr negative's energy effects i guess you could put these on mr negative since he has like the powers but we can go and put him on this like he's corrupted the people so we can put these just to like around his wrist so you can put him around the wrist like that so like i said it's like they've been corrupted or having some of his powers now or you could just put on mr negative i don't know who they go to specifically but we have him with our guy here so we'll just put him on him and like i said they kind of fit well with the punches since they'd have the powers and stuff there then he comes with some additional heads so we have this head here that has the like more i'd say bald design of course the guy is bald but it has the like nothing really to it just all flat mash just the teeth prominent out but we have this head as well that's got the bigger teeth more like bigger ones hanging down from the front then it has all the spikes it looks more like a Darth Maul mask or something like that but again in all black and white with the bald head there so that looks cool and then we get an additional head that we went ahead and put on a suited body so this is I believe the Happy Hogan body so we just you know took a, just a suited body and then put this head on it so this one has some hair and stuff there and then the mask you know has more of the spikes on the head but then it's got more like a dragon face with the nose and then the mouth open like laughing with the teeth sticking out and stuff so just a different head there and again we just put it on that Happy Hogan body so it's a little bit taller and bigger and there's always different size henchmen's and stuff and have different weapons and different toughness and stuff throughout the game so you can easily like I said just take a head and pop it on a suited body if you want just like this one but then they have a lot of weapons so first we get a baseball bat so baseball we've seen multiple times especially more recently the silver bat with the black wrapping so we have a baseball bat we have a machete so again a nice silver blade with a brown handle and then we also get some guns so first we get a pistol so a pistol with like a little attachment on then like silencer so a nice little pistol there we get we can give that or a rifle as well so it has a lot of cool stuff like a little magazine flashlight scope all sorts of attachments stuck onto it so we can give these to any other characters so let's maybe give this guy the gun so there i gave him the gun and one thing i noticed about this gun specifically is it's super soft and rubbery so it's kind of hard to get into his hand with how malleable it was but it just like can easily bend and stuff so that's kind of weird how soft that gun is but with that gun we do also get some effects so we have like the little bullet effects we can put into the end of it so as these red effects again we can just stick into the end so it just sticks in the end like that or we can put a smoke effect that it comes with as well so we have a smoke we can pop in just like that so it's like you just got done firing the gun so you can choose either of those if you want as well but i think just him holding the gun there would be cool enough and then i think with the other guy we'll go and put the little flame effects on his hands and give him one of the melee weapons so on the big guy I put those flame effects and i was able to switch out the fist hand onto him so one of the fist hands that came with this set and then of course gave him the baseball bat since he's like the bigger brute so he'll be able to hit harder with that and then we get the guy with the gun as well and now with those we can bring in their leader of mr negative there so it's cool to have the opposites of him in the all white suit and them in the all black suits but that looks pretty cool there of mr negative with his two inner demon henchmen like i said which we just had that spider-man to bring in here so i could show you it compared to these but i couldn't find it anywhere so overall i think they look cool not necessary figures like they're just guys in suited bodies so you can easily skip out on these you know mr negative is cool but not being able to like army build the inner demons without buying getting a bunch of mr negatives as well kind of stinks on that end but they're still pretty cool and awesome to see here together like this. So let me know what you thought of these figures down in the comments. And if you enjoyed this review, let me know with a thumbs up. But I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you all stay awesome out there. And I'll see you in our next review.